Hi there, welcome to my tutorial on plotting basic straight line graphs. All I'd like to do here is just show you four basic graphs that we'll be using all the time, certainly at GCSE level. So let's have a look at the first one. Here we've got a set of axes here. You should be aware that the Y axis is the one that goes upwards vertically. The X axis always goes horizontally. And what I'm going to look at drawing here is just a simple graph. We're going to draw the graph of X equals 2. Now what that means is X is always going to equal 2 on this graph. It doesn't matter what Y equals, X will always equal 2. So if we go up the Y axis and say, well, when Y equals 2, X must equal 2. But when Y equals 4, X must also equal 2. And when Y equals 6, X must also always equal 2. All the time, whatever Y equals, X is always going to be 2. So we could plot this again. Going down the page, when y is minus 4, x will equal 2. When y is minus 6, x will equal 2. So our graph is going to be a straight line vertically that cuts the x-axis at 2. This is the graph of x equals 2. So any other graph we could plot on here, as long as you know the x value. Obviously the graph of x equals minus 4, for example, would go through minus 4 there, the x equals minus 4. The second one, we're going to look at uh, y equals, let's say y equals 3. So this time, what happens is it doesn't matter what x equals, y is also always going to equal 3. So when x equals 2, y would be 3. When x equals 4, y would be 3. When x equals 6, y would be 3. At any point, whatever x equals, y is always going to equal 3. So we can draw the line across. This graph here is the graph of y equals 3. If you want to put another one on there, let's have y equals minus 6. So down here, y would equal minus 6. So we go down the bottom here, and whatever x equals, y is always going to equal minus 6. These, the, second, the third graph sorry, that I want to look at is an extremely important one. This is the graph of y equals x. The reason it's so important is it's going to form um, the basis of our next lesson on y equals mx plus c, which is the general formula for a straight line graph. But y equals x, well, what it means is whatever x equals, y will equal the same. So when x equals 2, y will equal 2. When x equals 4, for example, y would equal 4. When x equals minus 4, y is going to equal minus 4. They must always be the same. So we could plot all these points. Minus 6, minus 6, minus 2, minus 2, 0, 0, and 6, 6. So our line is going to be... A diagonal line going at 45 degrees. So it's going to go up the page. There's our graph of y equals x. So the final one then, we're going to look at y equals negative x. Now it should be pretty clear to see what's going to happen here because let's say for example um, y was 6, then x must be negative 6. So we've got a point here. When y is 4, x has got to equal negative 4. So you can see that this graph is sloping downwards from left to right. 2, negative 2, 0, 0. Well, it, y is going to equal negative x. So when y is negative 2, then x is going to equal 2. And y is negative 4. x will equal 4. It reverses the graph. So here we can plot this one on. Negative 6, negative 6. It's going to be a downward sloping line from left to right. This is the graph of y equals negative x. These two graphs are extremely important for future reference.